medial collateral ligament MECL injuries. The medial collateral ligament extend from the medial epicondyle of the femur to below the medial condyle of the tibia. MCL is a static stabilizer composed of superficial primary and deep secondary portions that are restrained to valgus stress. The superficial MCL is the primary restraint to valgus stress. The proximal attachment is at the posterior aspect of the medial femoral condyle. The distal attachment is metaphyseal region of the tibia, about 5 cm distal to the joint, lying beneath the pes and serenus. The deep MCL is the secondary restraint to valgus stress. It inserts directly into the edge of the tibial plateau and meniscus. The deep MCL may be separated from the superficial layer by a bursa. The joint tendons of the sartorius gracilis and semitendinosus muscles cross on top of the lower part of the MCL. The best and serene bursa is located anterior to the insertion of the medial collateral ligament into the tibia. The MCL primary function is to be a restraint to valgus stress. The MCL is the most commonly injured ligament of the knee. The typical mechanism of injury of the MCL is due to a valgus and external rotation force. A direct blow to the knee usually causes complete rupture of the MCL. The rupture may occur proximally or distally. Tears of the proximal MCL have a greater healing rate. Tears of the distal MCL may not heal well, similar to a thinner lesion of the thumb. What are the associated conditions with MCL tear? Injury to the ACL is about 95% of associated injuries. Rupture of the ACL causes anterolateral rotatory instability. The majority of the MCL injuries that are associated with ACL injuries are grade 3 or complete ruptures. No endpoint with valgus stress at 30 degree of knee flexion or at 0 degree. Meniscal tears up to 5% of isolated MCL injuries are associated with meniscal tears. It is not a common injury. What is the classification of the MCL sprains? Grade 1, it is a sprain or a stretch injury. Grade 2, partial tear of the MCL. Grade 3, complete tear of the ligament. No in point with valgus stress at 30 degree of knee flexion. So what is the typical presentation? History of a pop in the knee? Symptoms, pain and tenderness usually higher than the joint line. The physical exam will show tenderness along the medial aspect of the knee with ecchymosis and some knee effusion. How do you test for the MCL injury? Positive valgus stress at 30 degree of knee flexion indicates injury to the superficial MCL. Opening around 1 cm indicates a complete tear of the MCL, which is grade 3. Positive valgus stress at 0 degree of knee flexion indicates posteromedial capsule or cruciate ligament injury in addition to the MCL injury, means a combined injury. Always evaluate for other injuries, the ACL, the PCL, or medial meniscal injury. Imaging Radiographs are usually normal, however, it may show calcification at the medial femoral site, which is called Pellegrini Stida 
syndrome. It's an old injury. It is calcification due to chronic MCL injury at the medial femoral condyle insertion site. In pediatric patient with any injury and suspected solter fracture should get stress views to rule out a growth plate injury. There are more growth plate injuries than MCL injuries in a pediatric patient. Growth plates are weaker than ligaments. You may use an MRI instead of stress views. MRI is the study of choice as it identifies the location and the extent of the MCL tear. Treatment, anti-inflammatory medications, rest therapy. Minor sprains of the MCL will require therapy with return to play in about a week. You may use a brace if the injury is grade two, return to play in about two to four weeks. With grade three, MCL injury return to play in about six to eight weeks. Surgery in grade three injuries with multiple ligament injury, especially with the distal avulsion fracture. If there is a chronic instability with opening in full extension, then you would do reconstruction. Additional arthroscopy may be needed to rule out associated injuries. In combined MCL and ACL injuries, usually surgery for the ACL is delayed until the MCL heals. It may take up to eight weeks, and you will do therapy to get the range of motion and use an ACL brace. Unless the MCL injury is distal, then you will do early surgery. Complication is stiffness and loss of motion. Laxity is associated with distal MCL injuries. Functional bracing may reduce the incidence of MCL injuries, but this is still controversial. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.